You had it, buddy. Look messy. Someone's got the bell. What's up, you two? It's your boy John for Project Ellsworth, and Janae from Project Ellsworth and Janae Plans. We are finally trying Taco Bell's breakfast. This is this week's Getting Heavy in Janae's Chevy. Everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. As usual. As usual. Yeah, I've tried to come out here and get this a couple different times and it never seems to work out. Or I go to a Taco Bell that says they have breakfast but they don't have breakfast. Or we come out here and we're late. And today we were, thought we were running into the same thing. We went online, it let us order online, and then when you went to place the order it said they don't serve breakfast. Although it allowed you to select everything for breakfast, they tell you they don't serve breakfast. Then you get here and you get in line and they do serve breakfast. So, finally trying Taco Bell's breakfast. I think that's your crunch wrap. I only got two things because I don't know how big or small these items are. And I also think I don't think it's a good idea to stuff myself full of Taco Bell at 1040 in the morning. So, I got a bacon breakfast crunch wrap and a, what the hell was that? A toasted steak burrito with hash brown or some something i'm hoping it's good i like me some taco bell i'm already before i even try it assuming it's going to be good and again i didn't even know this was a thing i didn't even know that existed breakfast salsa what the hell is breakfast salsa it's just salsa well, why don't you know why are you asking me you're the one that ordered it Let's just sit there with this shit. To, come on. You know I don't feel good today. So I'm going to try the first bite without the salsa because I've never had it before. So I want to know what it actually tastes like. I found your crispy. It's crunchy. And delicious. Yeah, it's good. I got the... I don't even know what I got. Cheesy right. and bacon. Cheesy bacon. That's good. Is there eggs on it? I would assume so. It's breakfast. I would assume so too, but you left that word out. I don't think it was in the description. This is good. I don't even think this needs the salsa. But I'm certainly going to open that salsa and make a mess on myself before we go out today, I'm sure. Very, very good. Bacon and egg and hash brown. Who knows? All right, I got the cheesy toasted breakfast burrito bacon. See, there's no egg in the title. So you got the same thing I got. You just got bacon instead of steak. No, that's no, that's different. No, I got you steak got with the hash, hash brown toasted breakfast burrito steak. Oh. And then you got the uh, breakfast crunch wrap bacon. I'm drinking Mountain Dew at 10:30 in the morning. I don't know. I just didn't. I don't. I don't trust Taco Bell coffee for some reason. I have a feeling it's going to be like surface of the sun hot and grow hair on your teeth strong. And I don't. I'm not. Not in the mood for that. Grow hair on your teeth? Yeah, that's strong coffee. So it appears that Taco Bell breakfast salsa is salsa. What'd you expect it to be? Um, why? What makes it breakfast salsa? I thought maybe there was something different about it. That like egg juice in there or sausage grease. Why are you yelling? Because you're questioning my motives. <laughs> oh my! It's not bad. It's just salsa. Let's see, when I think of salsa, I think of like. Tomatoes and onions like the chunky. Well, that's what salsa is. That's not what that is. Well, I don't think they're going to put chunky tomatoes in a little ketchup packet. We didn't have time to stop a while off for my coffee. It's good. 
You need to get a K cup. What? Get a K cup. Why? We don't have a K cup machine. You sold mine. You never use it. Janae, I bought that for you like two and a half, three years ago. It's just sitting there with the direction sitting on it. Doesn't matter. I'm not, that's got to go. It's taking up room on the counter. I'll buy you whatever you want if you use it. I got like 30 bucks for that. I got 40. Nice. That's even better. So the next time I buy you one for 20 bucks, I'm selling that son of a bitch too. So we're going to leave here today. We're going to go to Goodwill. See if we can find some shit to flip on eBay. Where else are we going? Shop right. I hate going there anymore. I hate it. Food prices are ridiculous now. I walk out of shop right in a bad mood every time I go there. That's awful. Our grocery bill last week was $259. Granted, there was a couple things, medicine and vitamins I needed, but take that out of the equation, it's still over $200. It's ridiculous. I don't understand. And I've been trying to eat better as I eat Taco Bell for breakfast. I've been trying to eat better, and it really is pretty disturbing that better food is so much more expensive. It's, I guess that's why the whole country is overweight. commercials and it's um one of those subscription type boxes that might be the wrong word like like the where you go and you pick your meals and they send them to you and you cook them yeah it's definitely the wrong word but i know what you mean like god i almost said something up. and yeah. um one of the, the the market that they're trying to gear to is people that want like healthy food quickly and um, you know, making it affordable and can, you know easy for them to do. The problem is, like we tried Color Fresh. Who did? We did. We did, or you did? We did. I don't remember that at all. Was I involved, or did I just this, this happen while I was in the house? You ate some of it. I ate some of it. Mm -hmm. Clearly, I'm not going to remember everything. Everything comes right. packaged. You have all the pieces or whatever you have to add to it. But you felt the um, portion sizes were too small. Well, that's because I'm 250 pounds. That's why I'm 250 pounds. It's because I think all portion sizes are too small. Except for the ones you give me. Today feeds the family regular, like, regular size meals. And whatever's left, she pours on my plate. I gotta eat my plate with like a spackle knife. It's awful. That's it. I'm not doing anymore. You just want me fat. Uh uh. You want me fat so that when you get that Darth Vader foot off, you can outrun me. You ain't outrunning me. You might get Darth Vader foot off tomorrow. I hope so. I'm tired of driving to get you latte or cappuccino or whatever the hell it is you drink. That's rude. I don't mind taking you around, but I don't want to get up and get my shoes on, go get in the car, go drive someplace just to get coffee. My coffee machine's right there. I got and I, it, That's crazy madness to me. Well, I'm not in a rush because I don't want my foot broken again. I don't want your foot broken. You don't want your foot broken again. I don't want your foot broken again. Uh, and you want to go to a concert at the end of the month. And I'm mm -hmm. going to Las Vegas. You're going to be up there swinging your bra around and you're going to bust somebody's going to step on your foot again. Okay. That has never happened. <laughs> never will happen. You got your canaries out there singing. You're swinging your bra. <laughs> Get your foot stepped You've on. met me, right? Yeah, I've met you. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even complain. I'd let you do it just to see if you'd do it. You ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. 
if you're alone in the house with the doors locked in the dark, like in the basement, with the basement door locked, you ain't doing that, so. What else did you want to go today? Did you say you wanted to go to Target? Target? I had to return, but I didn't bring it with me. Intentionally. Oh. You intentionally didn't bring a return with you? Mm -hmm. Why? You can talk with your mouth. Well, we're allowed to do that here. Because I liked the thing I bought, but it didn't work for what I wanted to use it for. So now I'm going to see if there's um, anything else I can use it for before I return it. How many things do you think I've returned in my life? Do you think four. it's less than five? Yeah, I'd say less than five. You'll return four things tomorrow. Nope. I think that's definitely a difference between men and women. If I buy something and it don't work or it doesn't fit, I'll give it away, donate it, sell it. Ask the kids if they would something, anything. I don't want to go back to that store and stand in that line. Put a little receipt in my, my, my hands out. I'll change my mind. This doesn't work. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> you don't have to give them a reason. You scan your receipts, scan your items, refund your money. Give you back your receipts. It's not hard. I've asked you. I mean, I've, I've seen people ask if there was something wrong with it. All right. Tell them it causes cancer or it causes obesity if it's a shirt. Well, they ask if something's wrong with it so they don't put something back. So they don't put back. something back on the stuff. I know. I'm making a joke. Well, you just fun. threw trash on top of my breakfast. Thank you, my love. You're welcome. Ooh. The hell is that? Cinnabon delights. Cinnabon delights. Mm -hmm. Cinnabon's in the mall. And Taco Bell. Is that really Cinnabon? Yes. Not confused. I know that they used to link up with KFC. All right. Could you imagine if they did that now? How wonderful that would be. Go to KFC and get a beautiful chicken sandwich and some burritos. Oh, you mean Taco Bell? I I'm talking about cinnamon. Cinnabon. No. I want to work outside in the yard today. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees today. I woke up, I don't feel good today. My back hurts, my side hurts. I felt like I ate poison. Are you drinking my... I am because I don't have a drink. You did that like you were trying to sneak while I'm looking right... Literally looking at your face. And you're trying to sneak a sip of my drink like I'm not going to notice it. That's not my first sip, so obviously you haven't noticed it. Well, the other ones, apparently I wasn't looking right at your face, I don't think. You've had more... Go ahead, what's your cinnamon bun that you got a Taco Bell? You don't go to Taco Bell and get Cinnabon. You go to you don't go to Cinnabon and get Taco Bell. I love the way you dab your lips. They had um a box. Is that so you don't wipe your makeup off? Is that what it is? Yes. All right. They had a box. They had the burrito, the hash brown, the Cinnabons, and then a drink. But it was cheaper because they didn't want the drink. So you get the Cinnabon, the hash brown, and the burrito. Apparently you did want a drink. They didn't have any drinks that I wanted. So I just drank a little bit So you of just yours. want mine. You don't want I theirs. Just, I just want enough to quench the thirst. Their menu doesn't say John's drink. Don't roll your eyes at me. Oh, you know I don't feel good today. So what do we got left? We Three weekends left or something? Look, I got like cinnamon on the outside of my packet. They fell out of the thing. Oh, Janae. I if I have off. cinnamon on my burrito, I'm going to be put off. Do you think it went through that wax paper? I don't know. Wax paper. Whatever it is. I don't know. Now I'm just going to put the whole burrito on my leg because I don't want cinnamon in my food. Oh, 
so what do you want to do on these last couple weekends we have together? Other than eat someplace and annoy the shit out of each other. Plant my tree. Plant your tree. All right, so there's a whole weekend. That's a, Janae, that's eight minutes. And who's planting your tree? Me or you and that foot? You. Yeah. I could plant that tree after work on a Thursday. I'm talking about what we want to do on the weekends. I don't know. I haven't put that far ahead yet. Well, Janae, you got to start thinking farther ahead. What do you want to do? You're getting ready to go back to work. What do I want to do? I thought, I was thinking about maybe going to Lancaster one weekend. Going to the thrift stores there, see your pop. Because after this weekend, after I go back to work, I know I'm definitely not going to go see him for six months. So go see your dad and hit all the thrift stores on the way back. Leave early. What was the other one? I want to go to the Columbus Flea Market. Because we've never been there. We wanted to go last year and never made it there. This is delicious. Mine was really good too. Do you want to try a bite of the steak one? Okay. No. <laughs> All right. No, I mean no then. You going to take it? Not a nice person. I'm a very nice person. I'm not a nice person. You're sitting there with my burrito in your hand. That's what she said. That's what... The, <laughs> she wouldn't say that. If she says that, run. Keep going, Nate. What are you saying? Don't talk dirty on my channel. <laughs> Where am I? So what the hell did I say? Columbus Flea Market. And what else was there? I thought about maybe going to the bins in Delaware one day. Well, there's three. But we got to see if I have three weekends left. I think that's what I have left. I like going to the bins. You never really buy much. What you do buy don't cost much. And you can make a bunch of money off of it. The last time we went, well not the last time, the last time we went I haven't put the stuff on eBay yet. The time before that, I bought a great big Ikea bag full of stuff. I paid $12 for it, and I've already made $54 off of it. And, I, and that $54 was made with two things. I like the bins. This burrito is great. I should have got nine of these. I like the, um, how the bins in Delaware do it. They bring new stuff out. <clears throat> There's like a set time. That's how they did it during COVID. You don't know if that's how they always do it. We went before COVID, John. We did not, Janae. We yes, have we masks did. on. No, not when we went to Delaware. Janae, we had masks on. And <clears throat> it was while I was laid off from Gleason's. We definitely went during COVID. I'm positive. There it goes. I knew it. It's also right on my pants. Go shove the can't take out. I don't care. If anybody's looking at me there, that's more your problem than mine. Look I'll say you. look fine when you left the house. The bins are cool though. I don't know how many people who actually watch this do any reselling or go to the Goodwill outlets, but it's pretty neat. We've been to three different ones. And the one that is in Newcastle, Delaware was definitely the craziest and busiest one. We went to one in Lancaster and where's the other one? Glassboro, Runnymede. Belmar. Belmar, New South Jersey. We went to that one and it's never been busy there either. That's the one that's closest to us. You can make tons of money, though. The last time we were there, we almost bought a bike for our son. It was in re really good condition. 
sprocket wasn't bent everything looked good the chain was good seat was seat maybe needed to be replaced but the front rim was all busted up if you were to just look at it it looked fine but i know to turn the bike upside down and spin the wheels and the you can tell that the wheels bent when you look at the sprocket and the sprockets spinning perfectly and it's not wobbly but the rim itself is wobbly crooked as a politician they were asking too much money what was it 80 bucks yeah he's like i can go online and get for like 300 bucks or 300 some dollars fine but that's not that's not good wheel prices that's not good wheel prices that's a used price yeah they brought out like a pallet of bikes. Was that last Saturday? Yes. Last Saturday. So we're not going to an outlet today, we're just going to a store. It's Sunday. So you can get a whole bunch of shit for a dollar. If you can find them. If you can find them. My signal here sucks. That's weird. It's because they just want you to spend time with your family and not look at your phone. Yeah, that's why. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm just, I just, I think I just inhaled a piece of egg down my lung. It's your gift for the way you talk to me. I'm not even talking to you. No, we went to the um, bins in Delaware around the time we went to Ikea. All of that was before COVID. I don't think that's correct. And we had to wait in line. You can't wait in line with COVID. You have to be six feet apart. Your yeah. memory is incorrect. I disagree. Completely. I would bet you money. Your money's my money. What are you I would bet, bet you me? anything that we went to the bins in Delaware before idea. before COVID. That's no good. I, I'm going to take that back because I am that confident. You ain't that confident with nothing. Exactly. So you should be scared. I'm not scared of anything you got. Like you got too many dangle videos to look through that. I didn't make a video of the bins. I got too many dangle videos to look through. So now I'm awful because I create content. What do you think we're doing right now? No, it's awful to have to scroll through it looking for something. I swear I took a picture because we went to the some mall. What mall was that in Delaware? Was it, was it Concord Christiana? Mall. Yeah, it was Concord because that was what I was thinking. Well, there you go. We went to the Concord Mall that day. And I bought NECA figures. I wasn't collecting NECA figures until I was involved. You were still buying NECA figures back then. You just weren't buying them for your channel. No, I was not. I didn't start buying NECA figures until I got hooked up with Cody. Cody's fault is the reason I started buying all these damn NECA figures. And I started doing the Coast to Coast stream during COVID. There's your answer. You want me to tell you what I win? Live on YouTube? <laughs> well... No, really because live. you don't win. I win. I have I'll tell you what, ma'am. Go to Taco Bell and get the steak breakfast burrito. It's outstanding. What are you looking at? I'm pretty sure I took a picture when we were there at the Concord Mall. Why do you have pictures of our electric meter in your phone? Go delete that damn shit! Just trying to remember what the weather was like. It was chilly and with a high of COVID. I'm telling you right now, I was not wearing a mask when we were at the bins. There's no way, no how, no. That's I was you, not wearing a mask at the bins in Delaware. That's why you got that COVID. Oh, gosh. 
He's had that COVID. He's had that ugly. Had the COVID in 2022. It, it lingers. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't know any sometimes. It's all right. You don't need to know about me. You, you worry about yourself. You worry about yourself. <clears throat> Are you ready to go now? Yep. All right. But I'll find, I'll find, I'll find it by yeah. the time The next finish. time we do a mukbang. By the time you finish update, editing everybody. this, hopefully you'll be saying we cross here, but I'm sorry. Janae was right. Yeah, but Janae I won't was be. right. I won't be saying that. I never say Even that. Even if I am right. I never say that. Never say never. And you have said it. I tell you you're right sometimes. It's just not that often. If you guys like this, well, I'm going to get your funky bag out of the way. If you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying our content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Bye. Uh, later, folks. It's gross. So what? Why would you do that before you uh. fly off?